Hey, I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery, and today we're going to learn how to tie a mesh tubing bow. If you check out some of our other videos, you'll see lots of ways to tie a bow, and this one's going to be really fun. So you can see I have all different colors of tubing here, and I've left them still connected. And all we're going to do is I'm going to pull one of each color, and you can decide. You can use one color, two colors. I'm going to use five because the more the merrier for me. And all we're going to do is we're going to pull them all out together, and then we're going to start to make a bow. Now at this point, I am going to go ahead and separate it from so that as I keep working, it'll pull out a lot easier. But to get started, it helps to keep them all together. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna start out all at the same end, and we're gonna start looping it around like a bow. And I'm just clumping it together, holding it in my hand. I'm actually going to do this one where some of my loops are different sizes. If one of your tubing ends pulls out a little bit longer than the other one, that's okay too. And we're just going to keep looping it around. Now this is a great bow to add to a present, add to your wreath. And so I think now I'm going to do one more loop, and then I'm just going to cut it, and then we're going to add the long streamers with it. So I'm just going to take one of each color, and again, you can make it as long or as short as you want to, and I'm going to gather those up. I'm going to cut them. Again, I'm not worried if they're the same length or not. So here is my mesh bow. And I'm going to take and put the wire right where my hand's holding it and twist it as absolutely tight as I can. Now, you can be finished with your bow here. Or you can go in and cut some of the pieces of the tubing. And this just makes it look more like a firework. And then they just stick out. If one's a little bit too long and you don't like it, just trim it off. And this is just another fun way to use the mesh tubing. You can go ahead and cut all of them off if you want to. And then you just have a fun explosion of joy for your present or your wreath. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery. 